Well, good morning, everybody, and a happy Easter weekend. So I've had a lot of questions since last night about how I cover my completed images. So against my better judgment, I'm going to try and do this live um, on a video for you. Hopefully not getting any air bubbles caught. and <laughs> Hopefully not showing you the actual wrong way to do this. So what you will need, a cutting mat, some scissors, a nice sharp craft knife, a ruler, love this ruler so much, and some of this clear sticky book covering. Now for those of you in the UK, this comes from WH Smith's, it's about £3.99 a roll and you get about five metres on the roll. There is a similar product on Amazon, so if you check out the link in the description below, it will take you to a similar product. Okay. All these blades out of the way so good thing about this is the squares on the back so it makes it far far easier to cut to size so what I generally do is lay this over and we want about maybe an inch an inch and a half either side so I'm going to be going down this side I'm just going to find the bottom edge of the page as well so you can see through the squares the edge of the page is here so I'm probably going to take it to about this line so I'm just going to grab my scissors and start cutting this to size now this is not for the faint-hearted if you watched my video last night on my finished pages I think I maybe demonstrated a couple of pages to you where it could go completely wrong you get air bubbles trapped and the thing with this film is once it's on it's on so what i would say is if you're interested in trying this technique is try it on a page that you don't mind if you get an air bubble try covering just a plain piece of paper first until you get the knack for it my first copy of ivy and the inky butterfly was thrown away because of the amount of air bubbles that i got on when i was learning how to do this so it's very, very much trial and error. So I'm just sizing up the sides here as well. There we go. So we have our prepared piece. We have an inch, an inch and a bit either side. You also have a good couple of inches spare at the bottom. It's opaque enough for you to be able to see the edge of your pages through the film as well. So to get it started, I'm just going to move this a little bit closer to me so that I'm not having to lurk around the phone. So to get this started, we peel a little bit back, maybe about an inch to the first line here. And what I do is, once I've got a little bit of it by, I put a crease in the paper. So we just carry on going along, popping the crease in all the way down. So nice and firm. And that leaves us with a nice little flap there. So then we turn over and line it up so I'm going roughly just before the spiral bound part here I'm going to anchor one side to the board run my fingers along and anchor the other side to the board as well now at this stage it's really important with this flap that you've got underneath is just to straighten it out a little bit so that as you do the pressure with the ruler they don't get stuck to each other that's another thing that's happened to me before so we just make sure the flap is lifted back up again so it's not flat and this is all well clear of what we're doing. And then we grab a ruler. So with the ruler, nice hard pressure at an angle and we just start to smooth. Now what I do is I vary the pressure as I'm going down the page. So I'm pushing quite hard, which you can see from my thumb going white there. And I'm going slow. The slower, the better. So we do it little bit by little bit 
by little bit. So far, so good. Kind of holding my breath, can you tell? So little by little by little, nice firm pressure on that ruler. About a 45 degree angle that we've got the ruler at. Then we'll get come into the edge of the page. So when you get to the edge, just firm that over with the ruler and pull your backing away. So that's gone on really, really nicely. We've got no bumps, no creases, no problems. So that's when the craft knife comes in. So you just take your ruler and line it up against the edge of the page here. So it can be a bit slidey because this is quite a gloss finish. So you need a bit of pressure on your non-dominant hand just to keep that in place. And we just cut down the side. That's one side done. Just stick that to the edge of the mat out of the way. And same again. So you just make sure that everything's nicely stuck down. This side's a little easier because you can anchor it against the page. And again, a bit of pressure on the non-dominant hand just to keep that ruler straight. And we just cut along the side. And there we go. And then I'm just going to come around to this side. And that means we've just got this bottom one to trim away. So again, we just line it up. That was my uh, finger against this, by the way. That wasn't anything else. <laughs> what a noise. Just silencing the mobile. Well, that's my mother ringing. Of all the times to ring when we're in the middle of this. Lol. There we go. You have one covered page, so you can see nice glossy finish and all that that means is when I go to do this page at some point there won't be any colour transfer from this page to this page because we have covered it up with the film. So there we have it. That is how I cover up my finished pages. Ta -da! So give it a go, let me know how you get on. Bye for now.